hey, it's Avan here. Welcome to another template release. And this one is to do with a welcome email sequence, which is an extremely important piece of a list builder. Now, what you are receiving as part of this template drop is twofold. Number one, you are getting a system IO shareable link template. So what that means is you see this one right here, welcome sequence templates, and this is a welcome sequence. So when I click on this share button, you will see the shareable link and this is included in the templates and coaching membership. So you'll see a link below. If you are a system IO user customer, when you click on that shareable link, it will automatically populate in your email campaigns with this name and you will have all seven emails automatically there. And all you got to do is tweak some of the text, replace it and stuff like that. Now, let me show you the actual emails themselves. This is what it looks like, and it's on a Google Doc. Now, if you're not a System.io customer, you're going to see a Google Doc, and you'll be able to use this in order to also set it up on either Kajabi or MailerLite or ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign or whatever email software you are using. So this template is applicable to you no matter what email software you are using. It's just that with system IO, it is going to be added to your account with one click. That's the only difference. Otherwise the content is the same, the information is the same and so on. Now you will notice that this is allocated in a way where you can see it right here. You can see email one, email two, email three, email four. And then you will also see the subject line and you will see the content below that. So you can easily scroll through and see the different emails. Now this email sequence is designed to number one, deliver the free PDF or free gift or free training, connect with them on social media, and then introduce who you are, what you do, and sell them whatever product or service you are selling. So now there, this is really important that I also give you a quick disclaimer. This email is written in a way that it's generic. And what that means is because it's a template, it doesn't have a personal touch. And this is an extremely important piece of email marketing. And I urge you to sign up to my welcome sequence and check it out. Now I can actually share my welcome sequence as well. Um, and you know, it will be one of these, but I don't really want to do that because it's, it's highly personable and it's not going to be a template that you can customize really. But I do recommend you sign up to my email list email sequence, and then all you do is you pay attention to what I write and so on. It's about five to seven emails, um, you know, that is the sequence, and it's called the Soap Opera email sequence. And Soap Opera, by the way, in case you're wondering, is because if you're watching TV series or Soap Opera, the way that they keep you engaged is they have open loops. So they open up a few storylines in the first episode and then they don't close them all. So every episode has something that keeps you hooked that you want to watch the next episode and you want to treat your email sequence in the same way. Otherwise people are not going to open it. Now that first email is extremely important because that first email is what's going to make people connect with you. And chances are they're going to open the first email because they want the PDF or the free gift that you promised and they may not open anything else. So this first email is extremely important. So now I want to walk you through my first email sequence just to give you a little bit of overview about it. So you can see how extensive mine is. And then you can also compare my template that I'm giving you. It's a, a very reduced version, but that's because I am me and you are you and you got to really add your flavor to it. Okay. So let me share with you my initial emails that I sent to my people that are on my list. So you could see that I start with first things first, you need to be on another email list. Like I need to poke in the eye, a little bit of humor. Okay. So you want to give them, give, give them a bit of smile right away. Right. So I'm just going to get right to it. By the end of this email, you can either hit unsubscribe at the bottom of the email, no hard feelings or save my email address to your contacts. Market is important. So you never miss my entertaining, informative and educational emails again. Again, a little bit of humor, right? Let's tackle some questions. And then I go over a few, um, you know, things like reminding them, how did they end up on the list in the first place? Now, what I do is I literally give them all my freebies. It doesn't matter where they came from. I pretty much give them all the freebies. And when they click on this link, they end up on a page with a bunch of freebies. When they click on this link, it's another freebie and so on. Then I explain, what do I do? In here, also, I make it clear, I don't sell high ticket courses and I say, you'll understand why soon. Notice what this means. This is an open loop, okay? So it's really important that you include that, all right? 
Now, I also have a link to my social proof. So this goes to my Facebook reviews. And then I say, who am I? And again, a little bit of personal touch, you know, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of humor. And then here, when I, they click on the current location, it goes to my Instagram because I want to also channel them to connect with me on social media because I want to put them into my ecosystem, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. So you could see this is Facebook, this is Instagram. I give a little bit about my story. It's really good to give you a story because that's how people connect with you and, and so on. And then I explain about affiliate marketing because that's that's a big part of what I do, okay? I talk about my marketing services, a little bit of gift, a little bit of humor as well. This is very educational piece, this part. I explain my one-on-one -on -one services, and then I also give them a little open loop here. I don't actually say anything to do with system IO or anything like that, but I say it's 197 per year, but you see, I don't actually mention the word system, so I'm keep creating a little bit of a mystery, okay? And then give them a bit of manage expectations, again, a little bit of humor, a little bit of education, a bit of personal touch, here and then I tell them I'm gonna give them access to a bunch of things on my Facebook group again I get them into my Facebook group right then here I tell them to save my email address now I did not include this stuff in the template and the reason I didn't include it is because this is highly personable now you can absolutely include this and you're welcome to literally take when you subscribe to my email you're welcome to take whatever you want and literally duplicate it like there's no no problem in fact the email you're seeing right now, it's two different email welcome sequences that I've seen someone else do. I took what I liked from both, added my own flavor, and made it my own. So it ended up being, you know, I probably took 20% from here, 20% from here, and added 60% of my own, okay? So once I finish telling them to basically save the email address and reply with done and so on, I now go into the challenges. What challenges are you facing? And give them an example to let me know if it resonates with you. If they're overwhelmed, if they're struggling, pay for courses, things along these lines. You know, different common challenges that I know people have. And I say, which one of these apply to you, if any? Reply to this email and let me know. And I'll tell you if or how I'm able to help. So this is important because I want to create engagement. You want in that first email, you want people to reply. That is extremely important for your email deliverability. So you definitely want to encourage that. And then here, this button is a click to unsubscribe from the email sequence, but not from my general newsletter. I talk about that in my tutorial on email marketing from A to Z, where you can do a one-click campaign unsubscribe. So that's a whole different topic, which I'll leave a different tutorial for that either somewhere around here if you're watching this on YouTube, or if you're in the template membership, I will leave it somewhere below so you can add a direct link to that particular section as well. So that's my email sequence. And I just wanted to show that to you because it's really important that you understand this is highly, highly personal and it is very long. And, you know, obviously you can pause this video and have a read, but I do recommend just subscribe to the email list. I will leave a link below for you to join. And that way you can see the sequence and keep an eye on it every day to see what I say and things along these lines. Because also I do update these, right? So as things evolve, I may have updated as well. So it's important, for example, this mentions nothing about my membership, my templates membership. So I might update this. We'll see. You don't also want to give too much. You know, you want to just more. It's more about building the bond in the first few emails. I want to now show you what happens after you install the email sequence in your System.io account, how to customize it, and how to set up the automation so you know which emails goes first and which one goes second and what is the time in between them. So... The way this works is under the campaign feature. So if you hover over emails, look at campaigns, click on campaigns. Once you do, you will see the different emails. And this is the one you're going to see. Welcome sequence templates, DCT, TNC template. Now, what you can do with this one is you can, first of all, click on edit and you can change the name here. So it's something that you recognize. For example, it will say something along the lines of email sequence for lead magnet XYZ or whatever the landing page is that you're going to do. And here put a description so you can remember what this was for, i.e. what lead magnet came from, what landing page came from and so on. Once you've customized that, you're going to see there's the different emails here. Now you will notice these 
check marks and you see some of them are in green, these two, and these are not in green, these are in gray. Not in gray, sorry, not in green, the gray ones means that they are not active, they're not being sent. The ones that are green means that they are actually scheduled. Now, if you want to know what sequence these come in, you can have a look on the Google Doc and you will see email number one, here is your freebie title. And if you look at system, you will see this matches. So this is the first email. Then email number two, the truth about X. And then you will see that it's this one, the truth about X. And then you're going to see email number three, the top three mistakes. And you will see email number three, the top three mistakes. You get the idea. Now, I'm gonna show you how to customize it inside. So this is email number three, just for the sake of demonstration. And what you wanna do is this was already created the way it's supposed to. So you don't have to touch that. If you wanna say hi or hey or hello there or whatever, that's okay too. Everything you see in orange and be watchful because it does, I may have missed one or two places, but I tried to basically anywhere if it's in orange is what you need to customize. So you need to go and change that. And you could see that there's a bit of instructions about it. So here you could say um, your audience, your program organization, mistake number one, mistake number two, mistake number three, things along these lines, okay? Now, in regards to what you see here, once you've done all of that, you want to schedule it. The way to schedule it is you're going to say save and publish, and you will notice you have delay before sending email. So how many minutes or how many hours or how many days before sending the email. So let's just say we're gonna say two days after. Now, two days after what? So you're going to say here, this email will be sent after, and then you choose the email. So let's just say this is the email that you're going to do. What, what that means is that the email you're seeing now, which is the top three mistakes, is going to be sent two days after the email, this was a game changer and then you're gonna click on publish. Now you're going to notice over here under status that it's going to be three in green as opposed to two, which is what it was before. Now when you see no delay, that means that it's going to be sent immediately. So you'll notice if you wanna customize that, you're going to click here, you're gonna click on deactivate, click on confirm, and you're gonna click again on here is your freebie, click on activate, and you can do it here. So delay before sending the email. Now you can choose to do it, let's say, five minutes after somebody subscribes, right? And you're gonna to need to always put which email is gonna come after, okay? Now, in the case of this one, because this is the first email, you're gonna to need to go inside and the first email can only be customized from this area. So you're gonna put zero or five minutes, click on publish, and now that means that within five minutes of somebody opt opting in, this email will be sent. And then you can customize the sequence of the rest of those, okay? So that's how you can set up a campaign. So you would tweak the emails, schedule the emails. Tweak the emails, schedule the emails. And if you ever want to change anything, you simply click on deactivate and reactivate and go through that process again, okay? So that's how you would customize once it's in system IO. If you're obviously using a different platform, then you will be able to use the Google Doc. You simply copy and text, take, copy and paste the text. So let's say email number one, you would copy this part for the headline and then tweak that. And then you are going to use this part for whether it's Kajabi or MailerLite or whatever, and copy the text and paste it into your email. Now, one important thing to note is with Kajabi, MailerLite, this part of the personalization might be different. So you wanna make sure you definitely customize that. So it does say, hey, Joe, hey, Bill, hey, Mary, or whatever, okay? So that's about it. That's how you customize the emails once it's installed in your account, or if you're not using System.io, using the Google Doc. Hope you get value from this particular training on setting up a welcome sequence. This is an extremely important piece of having a list builder. So I definitely recommend you go ahead and set it up right away if you haven't done so already. 
And if you have any questions for me, please leave them below in the comment section. If you got value in this video, leave a comment with the word value. If you're in my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to learn more about the templates and coaching membership, if you're not a member already, go to our runtemplates.com to learn more about it. It's an extremely affordable membership where I release new templates every single month so people can have shortcuts and instructions and guides on how to start, grow, and launch their online business. So uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.